how do you, how do we pronounce it? Arrizabalaga. Good, good Basque name. Where are you from, Maria Inés? I'm from Argentina. I live in Mar del Plata, yeah. uh, on the southern uh, east coast, but I work in Córdoba. Right. And what do you do? Place. What do you do? What do you some of the things you do. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I have the chair for translation studies mm -hmm. at Cordoba National University at the mm -hmm. Faculty of Languages. And um, I currently have a position at the National Council for Science and Technology, mm -hmm. depending on the Ministry of uh, Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have a television program. Uh, we are playing. Yeah, for. yeah. Uh, it's uh, the name of it is in other words, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's uh, you know uh, part of a project uh, in order to uh, make translation studies uh, popular. Mm -hmm. You know, um, of course, um, the whole project uh, is uh, you know uh, part of um, uh, another uh, project. It's a larger thing. Uh, that that um, it's one of eight actions undertaken by the translation studies area that's functioning oh, in your university yeah yes, that's yes, functioning yes. within uh, the center for uh, research in uh, language mm -hmm. and what are the other actions then or what uh, well uh, we are um, launching um, a journal mm -hmm. uh, it's a new series it's called Lafken Studios Okay. And um, uh, we are um, going to have, we are going to devote one issue to um, a different, uh, s uh, you know, sub subject. Uh, we want to um, combine translation studies plus, uh, well, the volume, volume number one, mm -hmm. uh, neuroscience, mm -hmm. then uh, comparative uh, linguistics, mm -hmm. then physics, then mathematics. So then this is translation studies with all these yeah. things? Yes, yes. From the perspective of... Excellent. Hmm. Hmm. So things are happening in translation studies in Argentina. Uh, or not? Or is it just you? Or is it just you doing this? Uh, well, um, um, part of you know the uh, program of actions in this center is to, uh, of course, to you know um, add impulse to mm -hmm. what's already going on. Yeah. Uh, in Argentina, what we are currently having um, is a divide um, between translators, you know, professionals, mm -hmm. and what is called uh, what are called translatologists. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I think this is not the case only with Argentina. This is happening all over. Um, but uh, what we are trying to do as, uh, you know, translatologists um, is uh, try to, you know, um, work on that, but also uh, try to uh, gather the general public to sort of understand uh, who, who a translatologist is and mm -hmm. what we do, actually. What do you do? What does a translate? A translation scholar, can I say that? Yeah, yeah, no problem, yes. What does a translation scholar do? Uh, well, what, uh, <laughs> I can speak about what I do, okay, what we yeah, do at the right, centre. Uh, we but it's obviously wider than training professional translators. Yes, yes, obviously. yes. Um, roughly speaking, it's someone that uh, reflects on translation as an object of study. Mm -hmm. And um, it doesn't necessarily have to be interlinguistic translation, okay. this is it. Um, we, for instance, for the TV program, we focus more on intralingual translation mm -hmm. since Argentina is an so that's unofficial. Within group. varieties of Spanish and Argentina. Exactly, yes, exactly. Yeah. And also, we are uh, studying uh, how uh, the immigrant communities communicate mm -hmm. with okay. uh, with the locals. What about intersemiotic translation? Um, is that part of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And also, not only intersemiotic, but this, uh, well, this um, uh, new uh, light we're trying to shed with the Lafkin Studio series. Yes. Um, on What's the title mean? Lafkin. What does that mean? Uh, it is uh, an Aboriginal uh, word, mm -hmm. meaning uh, it can mean the surface of, you know, the, of the land or the surface of the sea. It has, uh, ah. yes, this is what the Pampa was called. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a series from the Pampas. Okay. The Do you get code. into conflict with traditional translator trainers or people who would do a more traditional kind of translation studies? Uh, you mean uh, if there is a conflict? Yeah, what do they think of what you're doing? 
Uh, yeah. Well, we are pretty much on the same boat, Good. actually. Yeah. Um, considering uh, the, you know, we are all together trying to, you know, build this center, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that, you know, as uh, most uh, of my colleagues, uh, you know, uh, other professors at Universidad Nacional de Córdoba, we uh, acknowledge the need for doing research, for mm -hmm. you know, reflecting with a specific meta language, reflecting with uh, theoretical frameworks on what we do. Never mind if we are doing qualitative research or quantitative research. Mm -hmm. Some of us are, you know, working on empirical studies. Others are just, you know, working on more hermeneutical, let's say, studies, more reflective. What stuff. kind of work do you think we should be doing? Well, I'm not. Well, one. Do you have students? You must mm -hmm. encourage them uh, to go yeah. in certain directions. Mm, or not. What I, yes, yes. But well, uh, what I always tell my students, and also you know, uh, the 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 young people I tutor, um, I you know, I'm, I'm the mentor of some thesis. Um, I tell them that uh, the the sort of study that they choose is is up to you know, it's up to anyone mm -hmm. that is uh, you, it's something that you have to choose for yourself um, the only thing is uh, that we have to you know m be practical um, about uh, you know funding and mm -hmm. uh, who's going to back up what we do because uh, part of you know um, working on uh, the maturity of us of an area uh, which is what we are trying to do uh, at the center of the studies at my university has to do with actually not doing it for the, for the sake of it or paying for things out of your own pocket, but actually, you know, finding institutions and subsidies uh, that back up what you do, uh, economically speaking. So uh, I think that, uh, I mean, it's a very practical thing to say. Do you but train people to do that? Do you mentalize the student that they have to do something that's fundable and get yes. them to go out and yes. find the exactly. fund? Yes, exactly. Yes. Otherwise, really? you know, uh, they can. Uh, it can be. A, they can have very disappointing experiences. Mm. You know, like I have this very bright idea about you know studying. Uh, well, something that nobody is going to give them money to work mm -hmm. on. So then they get disappointed. And they, what usually happens is that people end up dropping out the idea altogether. Okay. Is that problematic for, for translation studies as a discipline in Argentina? Mm, um, you, you mentioned previously that it's not listed as one of the official yes. fundable disciplines. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, um, over the last five years, uh, well, um, the National Agency, the National Council has uh, received these uh, funds in the in a major discipline that's called KS2 and it, 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 it um, translation studies is part of KS2 oh, okay. but then as you said uh, as you said uh, this afternoon uh, the name for it is semiotics, literature and linguistics so you know uh, okay, TS but, is a sub-branch of it. But you managed to get funding yeah. all the same. Exactly, yes. yes, yes. And is that a bad thing or do you do you need translation and interpreting to be up there with the big disciplines? I would like to to uh, gain independence, if you know what I mean. And okay. uh, you know, part part of uh, doing that, you know, uh, paving the road for that is uh, actually um, um, making everyone aware of what we do. Because uh, people don't exactly know what a linguist does, what a semiotician mm -hmm. does, what someone that studies literature uh, does, but at least it rings a bell. But when you say that you are a translatologist or, or, or a tra translatologist or a translational scholar, then like uh, everyone goes like, mm, mm -hmm. I've had this experience. Uh, in Spanish, the word you use is traductólogo, and when you say that to people, they go like, oh, they, they go something like, oh, then mm -hmm. you're the one that fixes bones, like traumatólogo, mm -hmm. traumatologist, you say. So there is this huge confusion, I, I've told uh, yes, some uh, of yeah. my friends about it, and, and then it's a huge confusion, and uh, actually it's, um, well, it's something that has to be changed. Okay. Is the television program, does that help? Uh, yes, that, yes, that, that yes. Uh, we, we, you know, the original plan was to actually uh, sort of uh, break, uh, you know, that, that, uh, break that up, that yeah. finish it, you know, end it. Okay. Uh, at least try to raise awareness. Okay. Maria Nes, thank you very much. Well, thank you.